you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. And there are plenty looking forward to seeing this. A capacity crowd here. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained. But if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots of most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of... He's gone for it! Goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. Oh, the invitation was received with such a clever run and he had that defence in, in utter confusion. Manchester didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Otamendi takes it over to the other flank. Now it's Sterling. Away from immediate danger. João Cancelo. And here's Mares. Silva. Sterling. Just brushed off the ball there. And he has been fouled there. It's not taken him long. And that's going to be a booking. Beauty! That is a gem! An absolute gem! Oh, that is a bit special. <laughs> and that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, they just couldn't have responded any better, Peter. Yeah, there's the old cliche about how teams can lose focus after scoring, but you still have to take your chances. Brilliant. That intervention was very necessary. Mondi. So, midway through the first half, and it is a tight old tie. Has he found his man? Van Dijk. Fabinho. Jordan Henderson. Alexander Arnold. Jordan Henderson. And it's Alexander Arnold. And here's Mohamed Salah. And here's Henderson. Now going for goal! It's a goal! And again they hit the front. Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. <laughs> Liverpool take the lead. Well, that's the currency he deals in, and he's come good yet again. Never the one to let you down in these situations. Silva, Mares, and here's Sterling. Oh, he's broken through, and the ball's come out. Fabinho demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. And it's Mane. Swung over. 
Here comes the corner. Zarko with the short one. Played into the... Up to meet it! Hoists it forward. And here's Roberto Firmino. Fabinho plays it forward. It's out for a goal kick. They can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Well, we've had plenty to go at in that first half, Peter, and it's a, a fragile lead that could quite easily change hands in, in the second. Uh, if you like your football unpredictable, I think you're at the right match. Liverpool head into the half-time break with a narrow advantage. It is 2-1. So we're already into the second period. Zarko drives it in. Liverpool are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Matip tries to get it forward quickly. And here's Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah looking to run onto it. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Oh, Firmino! And in it goes! And this is getting better and better. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Be another change here. Fabinho knocks it away. And it's De Bruyne. De Bruyne gets it out to the wing. Bernardo Silva. Silva. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. David Silva really struggling to influence the game. Look, he could do it. And Firmino! And that would have won it. Well, that ought to have wrapped it up, Peter. You may well regret that, you know. Silva. De Bruyne, and here's Aguero, right on the edge of the penalty area, what's he giving here? Now the referee has given a free kick just outside the box. He knew what was coming, that's a yellow card. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that to is he? There is some activity down on the touchline, it seems there's going to be a change. Oh, the ball's come loose! Zinchenko! Oh, great defending, that needed doing. Sane plays it out to the flank. Back into the middle. Mane. Fabinho. And it's Origi. And here's Roberto Firmino. Played out to the right. Stones tries to clear. Played in again. Ford <laughs> shows there will be three extra minutes. Has he found his man? Alexander Arnold. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. Liverpool have won it. As much industry as inspiration. Whatever the formula, it has worked for them. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Liverpool had a very simple tactic to implement, Peter.